Hello, welcome to Open Tiras. Today we're exploring Lebanon, a country rich in cultural diversity and history. Join us and stay till the end to uncover surprising facets of Lebanon's traditions, its breathtaking landscapes and the unique fusion of old world charm with modern influences. From its coastal plains to its mountainous interior, Lebanon's diverse landscapes have shaped its history and identity. Its strategic location has long made it an important center of trade, culture and conflict. Lebanon has a narrow coastal plain along the Mediterranean Sea, with sandy beaches and some marsh areas. Major cities like Beirut, Tripoli, Sidon and Tyre are located on the coast. The coastal plains account for only about 13% of Lebanon's total land area. The Lebanon mountain range runs parallel to the Mediterranean coast for about 150 kilometers. The rugged mountains reach up to 3,000 meters in height and include the tallest peak in Lebanon, Kurnat as Sauda, at 3,088 meters. Between the Lebanon and anti-Lebanon mountain ranges lies the fertile Bekeya Valley. This highland valley has rich agricultural land and produces wheat, barley, grapes and other crops. The valley provided an important trade route in ancient times. The anti-Lebanon mountains mark the border between Lebanon and Syria. The range has an average elevation of 2,200 meters and stretches for about 150 kilometers. Lebanon has a long and rich history as a center of culture and trade in the Middle East. The area was settled as early as 5000 BC by the Canaanites. Around 3000 BC, the Phoenicians established important coastal cities like Byblos, Sidon and Tyre that became major trading hubs. The Phoenicians developed a maritime trading culture and their alphabet would later influence Greek and Latin after conquests by the Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks under Alexander the Great and Romans, Lebanon was ruled by Arab caliphs starting in the 7th century AD. It was part of the Ottoman Empire from the 16th century until the end of World War I when the League of Nations granted France a mandate over Lebanon and Syria. Lebanon gained independence in 1943 but political power was divided along religious lines between Maronite Christians and Muslims. Tensions over the division of power led to a long civil war from 1975 to 1990. Syrian troops occupied parts of Lebanon for many years before withdrawing in 2005 after the assassination of former Prime Minister Rafik Hariri. Today, Lebanon remains divided along sectarian lines and has struggled with political instability, economic troubles, the effects of the Syrian civil war and a massive explosion in Beirut in 2020. Lebanon is home to a diverse mix of ethnic, religious and linguistic groups that contribute to its rich culture. The World Bank estimates its total population at about 5.4 million as of 2022. The majority of Lebanese are Arab, stemming from various waves of migration and conquest over millennia. There are about 1 to 2 million Lebanese of Armenian descent, some tracing ancestry to Armenians who fled in the early 20th century. There is also a small community of Kurds in Lebanon. They recognize 18 religious sects and grant religious freedom. The largest groups are Muslims, together making up about 60% of the population. Christians make up about 40% of Lebanese, the majority being Maronite Catholic. Other Christian groups include Greek Orthodox, Melkite Catholic, Protestant and Armenian Orthodox. There is also a small Jewish community. Arabic is Lebanon's official language and is spoken by nearly everyone. Many Lebanese are also fluent in French or English, which are commonly used in higher education, business and the media. Armenian is spoken by the Armenian community. 
The World Bank estimates that its GDP is roughly $23 billion as of 2021. However, decades of political instability, compounded by the Syrian civil war, have severely impacted Lebanon's economy. The service sector dominates Lebanon's economy, accounting for over 75% of GDP. Major service industries include banking and tourism. They have a highly capitalist banking system. Beirut was called the Switzerland of the East due to its thriving banking industry. Tourism also contributes substantially to the economy. Industrial activity makes up about 20% of GDP and includes small-scale manufacturing of products like foods, beverages, textiles, minerals and chemicals. Cement production is a major industry due to abundant limestone resources. Agriculture makes up about 5% of economic output. Lebanon has a rich cultural heritage that is reflected in its art, architecture and film. Despite their small size, they have made significant contributions in these creative fields. Lebanon has a thriving visual art scene. Lebanese painting combines Western techniques with distinctive Lebanese imagery like cedar trees, villages and references to the Phoenicians. Prominent modern artists include Helen Karl, Salua Raouda Chouker and Saliba Duahi. Lebanon's architecture reflects conquerors and cultures that have passed through over its long history. Ancient Roman temples, Ottoman mosques, French colonial buildings and modernist structures coexist. Lebanon has a proud cinematic history and was a leading film production center in the Arab world in the mid-20th century. Acclaimed directors like George Nasser and Maroun Baghdadi created films addressing Lebanon's history and complex social issues. More recently, directors like Ziad Doueri and Nadine Labaki have achieved international success. Through centuries of creativity and tumultuous times, Lebanon has maintained a vibrant cultural scene. Lebanese artists, architects and filmmakers continue to shape national identity and bring Lebanese culture to the global stage. The diversity of artistic expression reflects the country's complex story. Lebanese cuisine is famous for its delicious Middle Eastern flavors and ingredients. Here are some dishes you can taste on your trip to Beirut. Kunafa is a popular dessert made of shredded phyllo dough, layered with cheese and soaked in sweet syrup. Varieties with pistachios or clotted cream are also common. The sweet and salty cheese pairs beautifully with the crispy phyllo dough. Hummus bitahini is a famous meze appetizer and Lebanese national dish. Hummus Beiruti specifically refers to the smooth, creamy hummus made in the style of Beirut with chickpeas, tahini, lemon and garlic. It's traditionally served with pita bread. Fatouche is a bright, tasty salad made from chopped cucumbers, tomatoes, radishes and greens. It's topped with fried or toasted pieces of pita bread and seasoned with a lemony garlic dressing. The combination of crisp vegetables and crispy pita is delicious. Kayak are traditional ring-shaped sesame breads first made in Lebanon. They are typically encrusted with sesame seeds and baked until slightly crunchy but still chewy inside. Kayak bread makes a great breakfast dipper or snack. If you enjoyed this video on Lebanon, you'll love this next one.